Yeah, I don't mind being a third wheel as long as I'm being effective being a third wheel, diba? Right? So, um, you know, who wouldn't want to be a third wheel to this game, right? mm -hmm. So, especially, not just that, especially Liza. Liza is a wonderful, great actress and it's very nice to work with her and to share scenes with her and especially to work with the directors here, like May, like Kathy and like Richard, you know, it's, it's, it's something very different, it's something you really learn from it. It, 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 it's, it's something very fresh for your, right. for your passion, right, right. for your craft. But in real life, you're not. You're not a you're not a third wheel. You have your very own. Yeah. No, no. lang doon sa mga lumalabas. No, no, wala ka dito kasi ang daming issue about you eh. Yeah, wala, hindi nga ako updated eh dahil hindi ko naman sinet check yung mga yung mga balita dito mm -hmm. or anything. But uh, yeah, I heard Ano nakarating sa iyo? Well, I heard it na buntis siya and all that stuff. So, na reaction mo. Wala, wala naman tayong reaction. Hindi naman totoo. <laughs> but no one will react natin kung hindi naman totoo. So, you know, you know, just some people are just making up stories and stuff. But, you know, um, it's 100% guaranteed that it's not true and, you know, Sarah's okay and, and I, we're both busy with our work and she's, she's happy where she is. She just, you know, she's been working her whole life so I think she deserves a break and deserves to be happy also. I think she wasn't feeling well for a few days, so that's why she had to postpone some stuff. But she's okay and she's happy, Sarah's happy, everything's fine. So it's not a serious illness? No. Okay, she told you Yeah. Anong eksakto pagkakasabi? Wala lang, she, she didn't feel well. That's why she had to, she had to um, respond some stuff. But, yeah, she's fine, she's fine. She just, you know, basically, she, I think she needs a break. She needs, she needs time for herself. She's, she's maturing, she's growing. She's, become, she's 28, 30 next month, so. Um, she's happy, everything's, I'm very happy for her. You know, she's, she's, she needs time for herself. But, uh -huh. Matt kasi, di ba, nasa, ano ka na eh, nasa pika ng career mo ngayon. If ever lang, ha, let's say, it's a technical question. Kung dumating sa puntong naka... Just um, kung kailan siya kakasal or... Sabi niya June 12, oh. 20 something. Ano, ano yung action pag ganun? 20? Parang ganun, oo. Oh. Hindi ko nakita eh. <laughs> <laughs> Always siya pinapasin kapag once nag-open yung skills sila. June 12, oh. 2020. Ba talaga? Mm -hmm. Oo. Oh. Ano ba eh? 2016. 2016. So, four more years. Four years. Oh. <laughs> Hindi ko alam. Tignan natin. Tignan natin ano mga pangyayari, di ba? Hindi natin alam. But so now, you know, super focused on Dolce Amore. And she's, she's, uh, she's busy doing her things also. She has album tours and going around also. So, yun, busy kami sa, sa sarili ng trabaho. Eh. So, hmm. so, hindi issue yung oras. Hindi naman. Hindi naman. Yeah, you know, we're, bo we're both supportive with, with both our works, di ba? Um, especially now, talagang araw-araw kami nagtaping ng Dolce Amore. And I'm juggling it with um, a single-single. We're taping our last episode of Single Single in um, Cebu this weekend. Mm. So, medyo busy talaga eh. Araw-araw talaga. And then I have Iron Man mm. this coming August na hindi pa ako nag-iinsayo. So, magsisimula na yan in a while. So, yeah.